Hey, it's Zach from HowTree.com. Today I'm going to show you how to build your own Google Home enabled smart mirror using a Raspberry Pi computer. Okay, Google, who are you? I'm a helper and a friend. There are a lot of things I know and even more things I'm excited to learn about. Now this video is a brief overview of the project. In the video description, you'll find a link to the full guide along with the list of the tools and the materials that you'll need. Our smart mirror or magic mirror is comprised of a few primary components. For our display, we'll use the Pi Top Seed. It's a thin enclosure that packs a 14 inch LCD display, power button and bay to hold all our electronics. And here's a big thank you to ModMyPi.com for donating the Pi Top Seed we'll be using for this project. Inside the seed, we'll install a Google AIY voice kit, which contains a small circuit board, microphone, and speaker. Unfortunately, while I was writing this guide, Google released a new voice kit, the Voice Kit V2. So this guide uses the old kit, but the instructions are the same. The only thing is that the microphone is integrated on the new board, so you won't have to install it separately, as you'll see later. So if your kit looks different than mine, don't worry, just follow the same instructions. We'll also install a small $35 Raspberry Pi computer, which can run the Google Assistant software, as well as the Magic Mirror interface. Finally, we'll use magnets to attach a pre-cut two-way mirror to generate the Magic Mirror effect that is the core goal of this project. Again, I'm not going to cover some of the more boring steps like installing software, as those are covered in depth in the full guide. Let's get started. Now for installing Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi computer, go ahead and remove the dry bay cover from the Pi Top seat. Then you're gonna attach the included magnetic feet that came with the Pi Top to the Raspberry Pi. Now we can attach our GPIO cable and the HDMI cable to your Raspberry Pi. Then just slide the Pi in place. You see the ports are now accessible from the outside. Now this is actually the part of the process where we'll install the Pi Top and Magic Mirror software, which is covered in the guide. Um, after doing this, we'll install the Pi Top Proto board. Now, this little $7 board will attach to the Pi Top and make it easier to mount our voice kit. Um, you can actually use one of those little ribbon cables instead, the 40 pin ones, but this makes it much easier to uh, mount everything, so I think it's worth the $7. Now to install it, you just attach the magnetic feet that it came with, attach it to the rail, and then slide it into place. All right, next we'll install the Google Voice Kit itself. And we'll do this by connecting the speaker and microphone to the voice hat, which is the main board. And then we're going to attach this board to the proto board that we just installed. So first, take the speaker that comes with the kit, put a little bit of foam tape on the back, and then mount it into place. All right, it's nice and secure. And then you're going to go ahead and take a small screwdriver and connect the positive wire to the plus, I'm sorry, connect the red wire to the positive or plus terminal, and then the black wire to the negative or minus terminal. All right, after doing that, you're gonna take the uh, microphone assembly that came with it. This is actually a really great assembly and why I recommend using this kit instead of just like a USB microphone. This has dual microphone assembly and these microphones are really great. Um, that's one of the core things that makes a voice assistant work well is having a great microphone. Um, so I recommend using this one. So just put a little bit of foam tape on it and then we're going to mount it in the bottom and connect it to the board. Make sure you don't cover the holes of the microphone with the foam tape. All right, after that's all done, we're just going to go ahead and attach the voice hat to the proto board, snap it right into place. All right, and that's all of our hardware. That's what I love about this project is you don't need any soldering, you don't need anything crazy, uh, just, just what you see here. So everything else is software. So things that I didn't show here, obviously, are installing the, uh, the Magic Mirror interface, uh, the Pi Top management software, and then now we would install our Google Voice software. All right, Magic Mirror is almost complete. Now all we need after installing all the software, of course, is to attach a two-way mirror to the outside and we're gonna need a 13 by 13 inch mirror and I ordered a pre-cut acrylic one online there are a couple different ways to get your mirror it was about 40 bucks with shipping which is great um, and you can also buy film and, and glass from your local hardware store and uh, make your own two-way mirror but it's really hard to put together so I don't really recommend it but you know if you want an adventure uh, more power to you so in order to attach our two-way mirror there are a couple different ways um, I'm gonna use magnets so I can remove it easily 
If you don't use magnets, um, then you'll need to, like if you use foam tape or glue, then you're going to need to remove this bezel every time you want to get to the insides. I mean, you don't really need to get to anything once everything's installed because you'll be connecting to your Pi remotely. You don't really ever need to open it up again unless you want to. Um, but I like to take it off. It'll make it easier to use the display for other stuff in uh, like um, retro gaming. You know, you can still play and see it through the mirror, but if you want it to be really clear, then you'll want direct access to the screen. So um, I'm gonna use some neodymium magnets and I won't show this part in the video. It's covered in depth in the guide just because it's kind of a pain to do over and over again. Um, but basically you'll just detach this bezel. It unsnaps uh, using a credit card or your fingernail. And then you'll glue some neodymium magnets on the inside. And then you'll glue corresponding magnets to your two-way mirror. And then the mirror will just kind of sit in place. And then when you have it set on your desk, it won't fall off. It'll stay nice and secure. Now, if you're mounting this to the wall, which you can also do by reversing the stand on the back carefully, um, you're probably going to want to use like foam tape or glue just in case somebody bumps into it and knocks it off. If you're using a glass mirror, I definitely recommend using foam tape or glue and don't use uh, magnets for safety reasons. But um, for acrylic mirrors that are pre-cut, it works really well, as I'll show you here in a second. Okay, Google, what's the weather like outside? Right now in Tampa, it's 86 and partly cloudy. Today, there will be isolated thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 87 and a low of 70. If you'd like to build your own Google Home enabled smart mirror, check out the full guide in the video description. And if you like this video, perhaps you'd like to share it or subscribe. We build cool things like this all the time. As always, thank you very much for watching.